Yeah. I don't think this I'm... is tonight. All right, let me update you on the situation. Matt and Jamie are out of town. They're with Fab Rats, dropping off the coronet to the winner, the contest winner in Oregon. Brett and I were out hunting on the other side of the state when we got a call for uh, Nissan Rogue, I think, and they're stuck up on Cedar Mountain in the ice and snow. It is sunny, no clouds in the sky, about 48 degrees. We're gonna get them out. So we're still about an hour out from that family and there are deer all over the road. So we're taking our time. We didn't make it before dark, but hopefully they're doing all right. There's about 50 head of deer out there and it's just all along the road. There's just deer everywhere. So when we started, it was 48 degrees. It is dropping and we're down to nine degrees. And it was just a second go at 10, so it's dropping fast. All right, it is cold, cold, cold. I've just kind of done the same thing. I've slowly just ridden it back at the two-wheel drive, so I'm having to pretty much rock it back and forth, back and forth. So you so. drove it out. You actually drove that yeah, one out? Yeah, I drove that one out, and this okay. one, there's the vehicle's headlights there, the Bronco, then the one below it, and then there's one back there. They're not all together. They've just been stuck there behind the, the uh, stuck vehicles. Yeah, we're here to over, assist. So. We came for these guys, so. Yeah, and I just, they, they, they weren't even really uh, stuck. They were just kind of off, you know, off the frozen tracks, and I was able to get them back up. I'll get my truck out of the way, and we'll stay here and see if we can help you guys. All so, right, okay. sounds good. All right. The officer was able Let's to help gloves, probably. the Nissan get out, but apparently there's like four or five more cars stuck down there. We're going to go help them get out of the way. We're going to go drive down and see if we can pull whatever's stuck out of the way. Most of the vehicles should be able to drive out themselves because they're four-wheel drive. It's only the two-wheel drive vehicles that are having trouble. I don't know. This could have been a snowcat job. Eh, it's a little slick. I can so, get in and steer if you want. Or yeah, if you want to seat. steer that. Okay. And then I'll probably just back up and pull you, help okay. pull you back. Yeah, we can do that. Okay. He came to get a Christmas tree and now he's stuck. Brett, Brett, Brett loves getting Christmas trees. Where are we going, Brett? You get a Christmas tree. Uh, oh, that is stiff. It is cold. I'll try and keep your back in on the road. Okay. I'll uh, let you do most of the work. Okay. Hey, look at those tracks. Whoa. I can't keep up with them in the snow. They're leaving me. The nice thing about being a camera guy is you stay pretty warm. Your lungs hurt a little, but you're warm. So the difference between the truck we just pulled up and them is they have four wheel drive. This truck that we pulled out is just a two wheel drive. gonna get these guys past us and then we'll go down for the last vehicle. So the other guys with you. Oh. You guys, I'll, let me go see what's going okay. on. I bet you he de didn't damage the trailer, he damaged his truck, so. Yeah, he did it a little. Yeah. Yeah, no problem. We'll go get your buddy up. We'll be back up in a minute. This is the first time I've seen snow all year long, too. Good. Look at all those Christmas trees. How's it going? Are you the one that was stuck? Okay, so are you a two-wheel drive? All right, that hill gets a little steep. So if you wanna just wait a second, I'll turn around and then I'll get in front of you. All right, let's go hook this guy up. All right, so I want you to make sure you can keep the rope tight, okay? So you can help out. If I start spinning, you can help out a little bit but you're mostly gonna let me do all the work. Back and forth just trying to get out of here. The main thing with driving in the snow is you wanna keep going the same direction. You don't want, so you don't wanna slam on your brakes and you don't wanna romp on the gas because it'll cause you to turn. And you don't wanna turn.
Yep, yeah, you guys have a good one and happy holidays. Thank you. I got a question for you before you go. Yeah. So he's up against yep. the tree. Okay. And this is from afar. I don't know if you'd be able to help him out at all. Have you driven all the way to it? Yes, I can't drive all the way to it. I oh, got stuck. It so got stuck. it's about a mile down that road. And is it pretty steep? No, it's not very it's steep, but there is a little, there's a little hill. A lot more mild than this. Okay. It's something we might, we can go take a look at. Okay, so we just got done with all those jobs and a forest ranger, another forest ranger, uh, told us about another job and it's in a pretty bad spot. It's stuck underneath a tree. We told them that we don't know if we'll be able to get it out tonight. So we're gonna go take a look, see what it's gonna take. Best case scenario, we're able to get it out. Worst case scenario, we take a bunch of pictures and send them to Matt, because he should be back in town him come get it out. Are you going a little fast to try to get out of here? Is yeah, that I was trying to get momentum going up this hill and yeah. it started to slide. And... Mm. Yeah. I don't think this I'm... is tonight. Yeah, he's fully oh, rested on it. That's deep. <laughs> yeah, it is. Matt's probably going to want to pull it away from the tree first, and I don't think I can pull it away from the tree. I th I'm betting if I start pulling you up, it's going to push further into the tree. We're giving the law enforcement officer shirts. He can't have a shirt till we get his yeah. vehicle out. Yeah. Well, there you go. Thank you. Yep, and thank you guys for your service. All right, thank you. I'm Emily. Appreciate thank it. Thank you, Emily. All right, well, it's been a long day. We've been up since like 4 o'clock in the morning. We were able to get the six vehicles out. The other one, we decided it's too risky. We need another vehicle to make sure we don't, it doesn't tip over and it's leaning against the tree. So we decided to get another vehicle and get Matt involved with that one since he'll be back in town tonight. So we'll either go get it tomorrow or the next day. All right, I just got back from a 72 hour trip and Hefe says he's got some work lined out for me. So I guess we're headed up on Cedar Mountain it's not even close work. No, it's far work. All right. Cold so, work. So we're going to head up there, and there's some vehicle that slid off the road in the tree. We're going to go get it. We got Ed with us here. Yeah, everybody. Got a lot of snow on the mountains here at Cedar City. But it's a nice day in here. Got no wind for a change. Tired of that wind all week. And uh, about 55 degrees. The metal find him. I know he'll get him out. We got Tom Tom back there. He's looking alive. I'm waking up back here. I've never been to Cedar Mountain, so go check it out. Oh, you're gonna like this. Yeah. So we got the banana back there on the trailer, and we've got Hefe and Lizzie and that crew. They're coming up behind us. They've got the Morver. We're gonna have both vehicles on this job. Snow's not too deep. Not time to break the snow cat out yet, but uh, I'm sure that time's coming. All right, we're just getting here into Cedar City. This is where we're gonna be picking the customer up. We're gonna be taking him up there so he can drive the vehicle down once we get it out. Oh my goodness, we're not gonna be able to make a turn here. How's it going? Good, thank you guys for coming uh, coming up. Yeah. So I guess just on a Saturday, it was bored, so I decided to take a drive up the mountain. Driving around in the snow and slid off the road all right so we're up here at kind of the snowmobile staging area for the navajo lake riding area we could probably drive down a little bit farther but there's no need to we've been in big trouble down here before i think it was two winters ago we got crossed up down here pretty bad Hey Ed, remember when we got down here and we got all stuck and had to turn around and uh, it was a job, yeah. Yeah, that was a mess.
want you back in about where I was to begin with. Okay. So this one's had a pretty steep angle, having to hold myself up a little bit. And uh, I always try and be nice to the customer's vehicle, dust off my boots, or in this case, get the snow off of them so I don't get the whole thing dirty. Put it in reverse. So I want these wheels turned the other way because we're trying to back it out of this hole so we want it to help climb. Uh, oh yeah, I, you got the tree right there. Yeah, it's right there. I came in this door. Put some power on that. Let's put a bunch of tension on that. Okay, right there. Me and this tree are having a great conversation because it kind of has that. nothing else put to a bunch do. Of tension. Lizzie, put it in reverse and give it a tiny bit of gas. Try to get those wheels turned a little to the left. Don't go backwards at all. Just let us pull you. Let it roll just a little, Lizzie. Okay, stop. Okay, Lizzie, turn straighten the wheel a little. So turn passenger a little. About there, right there, that's good. How's that, Lizzie? It was good. Me and the tree were having a conversation. <laughs> yeah. Came right out of there. The window is not cracked. The mirror, the mirror is destroyed, but the window, it's a little bit damaged right here, along here. But other than that, it's not too bad. Drivable, huh? Drivable. That's what's important. <laughs> yeah. Um, Lizzie, let's have you drive this out. That was good. Two vehicles yeah. was just the right amount. Man. Yeah. I'm glad I didn't try that by myself. No, no. <laughs> it's like I always say, it's better to ask for help than screw it all up. I can only imagine if I tried that by myself and messed it all up. If the vehicle probably would have been down there somewhere. <laughs> yeah. It was it was pushing the limits of the weight of both of these. Yeah. It came out good. But this now seems pretty hard packed. Yeah, it's hard packed. Okay. Okay, hi. Yeah. All right, I guess you're in your shirt. Awesome. Okay, here you go. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're you're life savers. What do you think about that, Ed? Well, that was a good job, easier than I thought. Didn't do much damage to his. He's lucky that tree was there. He probably rolled it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. You can't tie knots, tie lots and lots.